Hi everybody, welcome back to the garage. Uh, just basically gonna epoxy the two door skins together and uh, see how it works out. Hopefully this is uh, helpful. Cheers. Doors all prepped and ready for bonding together. Just laid out like this. So you wet this down, down here. You put in the three dimensional fiberglass in here and I believe it goes here. You wet down where the two meet and then you, once you get it wetted down, then you need to mix it up and uh, put, uh, I think it's cabosal in it, get it thick and then you need to lay down a nice thick layer on this guy. Well, not too thick, I guess up to 1 16th of an inch and then you bond the two pieces together, take the, the outer skin, put it on, pleat go it on the bottom, and then once that's done, you then, uh, you're gonna put it up on the plane and pleat go it to the shell of the plane to give it the shape. At least I'm pleat going it, some people are taping it, some people are using weights, and I will actually use a bit of weights on the top because of the gaps, but um, we'll see how this works out. Okay, there it is on the door, bonded. I did put some weights up here just because I wasn't sure there was enough clicos and stuff. Um, we'll see how it goes. Obviously I put too much epoxy on here, but at least I got too much. So um, I won't have to come back to it, hopefully. And of course the other reason I have it too much is because I cut the inside a little bigger than the outside the outer skin. So um, I was gonna, I had epoxy on the inner skin. That's where I put it in with the mix. And so that's what we see. And then I put plastic on the plane just to keep it off of it. Um, just cause I didn't wanna have to deal with epoxy on the plane. The only challenge with that is if you wanna tape it down now, you can't, there's nothing to tape onto. You could peel it back a bit and do it, but Nevertheless, it should be good the way it is. So we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll see how this comes out. And of course, uh, I was gonna do both of them at once, but I figured I'd do this one and then I'll do the other one later. I just don't uh, wanna make sure this works out well. Bye for now. The results of the passenger side door Got all the clicos out. A few on the top are actually a little, little stuck, nothing too big a deal. You just kind of push them in and then you pop them out pretty easy. But overall, they came out pretty good. You can see I did a fair bit of the wax on here, just to make sure. So next up is uh, I gotta do pilot side and I need to, uh, to cut this. And then putting this on the plastic, some oozed out between, got on the plastic, just kind of peel it back, and overall it seems to come off pretty easy. Let's see how the next step goes. Back at it again, and this is the pilot side. Um, you know, I probably put too much in, but uh, I wanted to make sure I wasn't messing it up. I didn't want to be uh, too little. So I can cut it, it'll obviously get cut off, it'll be cleaned up, so it should work out good. Um, <clears throat> overall, you know, it's just, you don't have a lot of time, so you feel a little rushed doing it, but, uh, we'll see how this one turns out. On the passenger side, um, I think it came out okay. You know, most of it looks pretty good. The one thing I did notice is on the top, I don't know if you can see this, maybe you can. There's a void here. There's a couple of voids in it. And uh, I think there's two reasons for it. One, I don't think I put enough Clicos on the top. I did put weights on it, but I think it only pushed down on the sections where the weights were actually there. And unfortunately, it's not a great place for putting clamps and stuff. And then the other thing I noticed, and we'll see when the other one comes out, um, when I was putting the Clicos and drilling the holes through, 
I put them on the outside and I was careful not to go near the line, but I missed on the inside. And so I don't think it was actually holding the two pieces together as good as it could have. And I think that may have been cause for the problem as well. I mean, around the window, there's like, you've got so many. Um, so that made it really good and snug and tight. On the sides, um, I did pretty good. On the top, there just wasn't a lot of places I could put them and I was a little concerned about it. But uh, we'll see. You know, like I said, once I cut it, I'll see if the void has actually gone all the way through. If it is, I guess I'll just uh, I'll get some epoxy and I'll put it in there and fill it. Uh, shouldn't be too big a deal, but uh, that's a little disappointing. But uh, nothing I can do about it now. It is what it is. But uh, like I said, there's a, you know, there's a fair pit. If I look at it here. You know, it's gonna cut it off down to about here is my guess. So, you know, there's there's a fair suction there. And I did put a lot of the epoxy in there. And I think the other problem with it was I was expecting that um, the Clecos, like around the window opening, you can see where it oozed out the back. And even on the, the pilot side, you can see where it squeezed it out nicely. I expected it to squeeze out on the top. Again, don't think I had enough on it. Um, on the sides, you'll notice I've got a lot more than I do on the top. And I think that's part of the part of the challenge, right? Um, on this side, I may have put in a, even a little more. Um, but I think, generally speaking, the mixture is, is, when you mix it in and you get the consistency you want, it doesn't flow very well. And so one, one suggestion for anyone who's gonna build these doors is uh, what I would do is I would make sure you get it when you lay it on as flat as possible. I wasn't so worried about that. I thought it would just squeeze it out and maybe that's uh, part of the issue. But um, when you put it on, you're basically putting on the other side of this a layer of it down and it's all around here. So just to be clear, I mean, this whole section here has a layer of epoxy on it. So, you know, the void would have to go a long ways before it actually make any difference. But um, when you're putting it down, I was exactly the same thing. I was expecting it would squeeze it into the right place. But I suspect if you lay it down a little flatter, it might have come out a little better. Uh, but I'm not. Not positive, but I think it may help. So just some things for when you do it, maybe it'll help. Um, but I figured I'd share that little bit of a lesson learned. Hopefully that helps. And as I uh, cut it down, I'll see what the void really works out to be. But uh, I'm hoping it's, uh, it's probably not gonna be a big deal. And like I said, filling it in, not really that big an issue. I uh, just gotta squeeze some epoxy mix in there. And of course it won't be thickened, so it'll just go in. Anyway, there you have it. Cheers. Oh, next piece. Um, I guess the next stage for this will be cutting these openings out and starting to sand them down to fit into the openings. Bye now.